the story of a lost soul Of many I have written but she's tongue cold so Rose, Rose Look what I got for you Magic. But you know you don't have to do this. Man, you don't have to buy me expensive gifts anymore because I have already succumbed totally to you to become your sixth slave. Really? Yes. S slave? You have totally succumbed to me. Totally. Oh, uh, all right. Now, prove it, baby. Prove it. Baby. Mm. You mean, mean so much to me. And like a promise, I will always take care of you. Okay. Um, I'm afraid I have bad news for you. What is it? Hmm. Something bad has happened. Uh, yes. It has to be with your father. Papa. Yes. What is wrong, with Papa? Well, your father is dead, Rose. Right? <sighs> yes, he, he was hit by a hit of a motor car. Uh, I'm sorry. <sighs> come, come, come down, sir. Come down. <laughs> You're thinking cause she's bound in chains I'm bound in chains oh, Someone says it's not my doing Another one says I must be joking What would you do if you were in my shoes? Take the pain and live in shame Reach out your hand And find me This is first. Um, 
I'm sorry about your father's death. I know how much you must be hurting. He betrayed me. He sold me into this life of slavery that I live in now. I have no reason to feel the impact of his death. But I do. I do. I know. If you must know, I met and spoke with your father on the night of your wedding reception. He was drowning himself in a bottle. He told me the part he played in your marriage. And he said he was going to fight to free you from this marriage. Even if it meant going to jail himself. If you ask me, I'm sure that must be how he met his death. You there? I overheard his talks talking about it. Sir Rufus is a murderer and a cheat. I know this because he cheated my daughter into a fake marriage. He used her and dumped her. But she had no will to go on again. I mean, he was married to your daughter? Yes. Only we they know it was a fake marriage. He used her and dumped her without even a benefit of divorce settlement. He wanted to break her spirit. We found out he, she wasn't his only victim. Wait. You said your daughter found out that her marriage to him was fake. That means... It means... sure yours is fake too. Because I saw the fake registrar that my daughter went to when she wanted to dissolve our marriage at your wedding. He and Sarufos are best of friends. I'm sure he's the one that procures the fake marriage certificates for him. so callous enough to strip me of all I believe in without even the coverage of a marriage. Mrs. Swiss, the man you call husband is a dangerous man. He can go to any land to get what he wants. Oh, Papa. Papa, what have you got to eat? What have you got to eat? What have you got to eat? You mean I have been forced to end your rape, assault, violation, this man? Mrs. Woods, this is no time for tears. This is time for you to know what to do. Your freedom, everything depends on your strength. That is one thing the devil admires in you. I am sure that is the only thing that will bring about his end.
does anyone know about this? Aside from Sarufos and the fake registrar? No. Sarufos does not trust anyone. Not even his dogs. No. Nobody does. No. I say. This may work to my advantage. I would make sure that he pays every measure of cruelty that he has given out in his life. What do you plan to do, madam? Just wait and see. He would not go scot free from all the hearts and the pains that I feel in my spirit. Brady! He would not. He would. So, Samantha, where have you been all this while? Oh. I went to my cousin's place to clean my head. Oh, okay. Well, welcome back then. Thank you. Mm, my girl. There's something I would like to discuss with you. I realize that you have no idea that the both of us are together that way. Look, I wouldn't be here if not that my cousin Eve has threatened that she will tell you if I don't. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm so, I'm so sorry. Oh, my girl, don't. Don't say you're sorry. Don't. Look. That night was the best night I have had in recent time. It's still fresh in my memory. I can't forget. So don't, don't say you're sorry. Look, I will not hold you responsible for anything. I won't. Believe me. I just thought that it's best for you to know. Okay? If you don't mind, excuse me. You're thinking cause she's bound in chains I'm bound in chains Oh, someone says it's not my new way Another one says I must be joking What would you do if you were in my shoes? Take the pain and live in shame Welcome back, Samus I see you're good and ready I have been waiting for you my, my, my. <laughs> See, I have been waiting for you. The 
and guard your back. So that I could see you. I will prepare for you. Mm. Mm. So you can have it whichever way you want. Sweetie. Oh, Rosie, Rosie. I have decided not to take any nonsense from you again. Mm. So today, it's pay back time. Payback, you say? Yes. Payback for what, sweetie? All of it. Yes. All the clothes. Oh, yes. All of it. All right. Someone says it's not my new way. Another one says I must be joking. What would you do? Maria! Maria! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Maria! Story up on myself. Yeah. A maniac breathing, but she's stone cold. It's a terrible a woman, yes, you're thinking. Thank you. It's not, look, my girl, it's, it's, it's not, it's, it's, it's not, it's, it's not too late, my girl, it's we late. love each other. No, it's late. Not what you think. What are you doing? 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 you doing? What are 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 you doing? Rose! 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 You hurt me really bad. I didn't promise you, my girl. I will deal with you. I will. I will get back at you, my girl. I will. I am. Rose. My child, you cannot go on like this. Eh? With all this crying, you're going to make yourself sick. Please, no. Eh? You don't understand. You just do not understand. 
how much things I'm going through. My girl betrayed me. He hurt me. I don't know if I can go. I don't know if I can go. You can and you will. <coughs> You're the strong one, remember? Your heart will mend and you will love again. No. Never. I would never give a man so much power to hurt me again. Never. Do you know the risk I took for him? Do you know the enormity of what I did? Just to be with him? I would never love any other man again. All men are beasts. They're scavengers, that's all they are. I'm sorry this had to happen, Mrs. Ruth. I never realized how much you loved this man. Please find a place in your heart to forgive him. forgive my girl. I will never forgive him. My girl will pay. He will pay for her life here. Ow! My child, I understand. Just take it easy. You might hurt yourself if you go on like this, please. one month since the death and the burial of my husband and the reason for summoning all of you here today is to let you know that as the widow of Sir Rufus I take full charge of everything the houses the businesses everything you can think of that he controlled and owned It is very, very pertinent that I know where your loyalty lies. Whether it's with me, or it's with my late husband, or with anyone else. But believe me, I will not ever tolerate any form of this loyalty. I will do that. It's good that you know that I learned very, very, very well from the master how to reward in subordination. Any one of you who chooses to fall out of my employees list must and should Tender a letter of resignation. No! Anyway, anybody who chooses to stay would have a 10% added to your salaries. Razor, I want you to assemble all my late husband's lawyers in this house first thing tomorrow morning before 9 a.m. 9 a.m.
all his legal documents will be automatically reverted to mine. Now listen to me, every one of you. Don't think that I'm a child that does not know what I'm saying. Do not take me for granted. Go back and think about what I just told you. Because I would do worse than my husband. I would do worse than he did. If his yoke was light, my yoke would be heavy. If it just ties to you with whips, I would just ties you with scorpions. Think about it, every one of you. Think about it. If I have to kill, I will. If you push me to maim, I will maim. That is what I have to tell every one of you. Don't, don't joke with my words. Like I said, I learned very well. By the way. It's the little story of a lost soul. A maniac breathing, but she's too cold. So terrible, a woman, yes, you're thinking, cause she's bound in chains. I'm bound in chains. Oh, someone says it's not my new way. Okay. It's a good thing that you and your boys have decided to stay. Your decision is a very wise one. That alone has convinced me that you have been very loyal to my late husband. The chairman was very good to us, madam. He practically trained us. It is only natural that we want to show his widow the same kind of loyalty showed him when he was alive. Interesting. Very nice. Like I said, it's a very good thing that you have decided to stay because I already have a job for you. Here, take. Go to that address. Believe me, you wouldn't have any difficulties finding the place as you have already been there before. Razor. I want a solemn race down to nothing. And I want nothing, not even a pin, to escape the assault. Do you understand me? It shall be done quickly. Good. I trust that you do a good job. Small reason. Do not disappoint me. Disappointment is not a word in my dictionary, if I will. Excuse me. Madam, are you sure you know what you are doing? Yes, I'm perfectly sure what I'm doing. I want Michael to taste how it feels to lose. I do not see the sense in it. Eh? I mean, you said, you said you are true with him. Why not let it be? I mean, you won't even know that you are the, the one responsible when the deed is done. Maria, of course he would know. He would know that it's my handiwork. You see, that would be my farewell gift to him. Excuse me. Reach out your hand and find me. No, don't look back. Don't go. Your salon? Burnt? Oh my, my God, are you kidding me? 
Bob. Everything is gone. Everything is bent to the ground. Everything. Oh my God. I have you been to the police? The police don't have anything for me. No, they just suspect it's arson. But you know what amazes me? That it's only my shop that was burnt. The fire didn't even get to the next shop. Michael, this must be the work of a professional. But the question is, who would have done this? I mean, who had it in enough for you to do this? Bob, I don't know. I don't know who did it, but I have a hunch it is, it is Rose. Rose? Yes, Rose. You know, she knows Samantha is having my baby. She knows that? I mean, who would have told her that? Listen, we made contact, okay? The night Samantha came to tell me she's having my baby was the same night she also came to tell me about what she's done. And incidentally, that's the same night that her husband died. She saw me holding Samantha's pregnancy results in my hand and that's it. Good heavens, Michael. Her parents must have been a great shock. Shock? My brother, shock is an understatement. She actually believed I'll take her back after everything? No. No. Okay, so, um, what's happened? The obvious thing happened. She insulted me, cursed me, you know, telling me that she's gonna hate me for the rest of her life, but she doesn't know that I've grown so much hatred for her. That's all well and good, Michael. But you're here to tell me how you arrived at the conclusion that she has to be the one to set the place on fire. My brother, listen. There's something she told me that night she came here. And with that, I realize she's capable of doing anything. Um, Michael, please pardon me. Really, I'm finding it very difficult to swallow. I mean, that the rose that I know is capable of doing this. Listen, Bob. The rose you used to know is not the same rose today. She's capable of destroying me because of Samantha. Do you get it? I'm sorry for invading your privacy. Are you feeling better? I feel more better today. Listen, Samantha, I got wind of the fact that you're not feeling well. And I also know that you've not seen me ever since the last time we spoke in my apartment. But that doesn't mean I'm a snob. Okay? It's just that my life is in a mess right now and I don't know what to do. It's okay. Look, I heard what happened to your shop. But I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Michael. It's okay, it's okay, don't worry. I'm so sorry too, but it's okay. I'm, I'm sorry that I didn't call, okay? So, what are you going to do now? I guess I'm going to dust up my certificate and go job hunting. That, that is the reason I'm here. I'm going away for a while. What? Okay. Where do you want to go? I don't know. I guess I'll leave it to the wind to take me wherever he wants to take me. But let me assure you, I will be back. And that is not going to stop me from doing my duties as a responsible father. I will be back for you and for the child. Trust me. So, this is goodbye then, huh? Is that what you're saying? Michael? I know this is going to be hard, but I'm sorry. Oh, don't go. Don't. Michael. Michael. What if I say I have a job for you?
Huh? Would that make you stay? Would you accept to stay for the sake of our unborn child and for me? Please, my girl. For you. What can I do for you? We came to see the wife of our brother Rufus and not his daughter. Go and call your mother. Wherever she's hiding, we must see her today. Well, I am so sorry to disappoint you, old man. But my husband had no other wife in this house besides me. You mean you are the last wife of our brother Rufus before his death? Exactly. The fact was abomination. Wonder you said that? shall never end. No wonder he met with untimely death. Hey, Rufus! Now Rufus. listen to me, old man. My patience is wearing thin with the both of you. I would give you just five seconds to speak what you came here to say to me. Or I will let my boys throw you out. Uh, miss, we heard about the unfortunate death of our brother, Rufus. Hey. And how you single-handedly buried him here in no man's land without even consulting us, the relatives. Do you have respect for our traditions and customs? Oh, really? Really? Well, my husband, late Sir Rufus, never intimated me on the fact that he had relations like you guys or whatsoever. Now, let me ask the both of you a question. Did you attend my wedding ceremony? Huh? I thought so. The answer is no. Now you come into my house and tell me that you're my husband's relatives. And what do you want from me? And what would I even inform you about his funeral in the first place? You know what? The only thing I see here are two imposters who have come to fill their pockets with my money. Imposter. Your money? Yes, ma'am. I should be here that. This small girl is not only calling our brother Smalley her money, but also calling me Francisca, imposter. Hey! You are the real imposter here. The You think you can warm yourself into the life of our brother and claim all what he had after killing him? No, it's not possible. <laughs> we won't let you do that. Not over our dead body, Che. Not over our dead body. Teha! You won't allow to do that. You know, I would love to see the both of you try to stop me. It would be very intriguing to see how you can accomplish that, really. Now let me remind you that I am the only eligible heir to your late brother, my husband. Which makes me everything that he has mine. Lie! You lie! You are not our brother's heir. And if you must know, Rufus had a son with his first wife long time ago. Yes! And if I did him, is the only way to throw you out of this house? Well, yes. I think this interview has come to an end because he has crossed his boundaries. I will not stand here and banter words with you fools. No, I won't do that. Don't you ever darken my territory again with your shadows. Oh. Tell you and show you what I am capable of doing. Boys, for this Who else? Michael, my man. What's up? Well, as you can see, things are looking good. I'm the manager of the biggest furniture and interior decor company in the whole of Nigeria, so things are looking quite good. Yeah, I can see that. Well, uh, Michael, things are more than looking up, man. Look at you. Who will believe it's Michael the Baba sitting quite comfortably at that desk? 
cool as can be. Yes, I guess I'm grateful to Samantha. She's done everything for me and I, that girl is really a good girl. Yeah, Samantha. Man, that girl must be a saint. She is, Bob. She's actually a saint, you know. She practically rescued me when I was at my lowest point. Even after what I did to her, she's, she's a very good woman. <laughs> Why wouldn't she, Michael? I mean, come on, isn't it obvious that that girl is in love with you? And that she'd be willing to do anything you ask of her. I mean, come on, you should know that by now. Listen, I know what you're talking about, but I'm just trying to ignore her feelings for me. I don't want to encourage those feelings because if I do, something else will happen. But it's not as if you're still going out with Rose. So I see no reason why you don't want to show Samantha some love. That is because I just can't. Listen, with my bitter experience with Rose, it's taught me to keep my distance away from women. I just, I just can't do that. <laughs> Michael, you're very funny, you know. Okay, now, um, let me ask you one simple question. What if your father had left your mother while she was carrying you as a baby? What would you have done? Well, um, the decision is yours. Listen, listen. I'm not going to desert my child, okay? That can't be possible. I've drawn up a workable plan that, that is going to favor me, Samantha, and the baby. So uh, there's no way I'm going to desert my plan. So I'm sorry, I don't agree with you on that one. Well, uh, Michael, to be candid with you, I really don't get what you mean by a workable plan. But um, please do not do anything to hurt that girl. You know, it's not really good to love and not to get anything in return. You think I don't know that, Bob? Well, uh, Michael, enough of this soul searching business. Um, well, I actually came for you to buy me a drink. I guess you know you're the only one. Of course, I know you. Let's go. Let's go. Michael, thank you for bringing me out here. It's so beautiful and peaceful. It is, isn't it? Yes. There's something I want to ask you. Michael, you can ask me whatever it is. I'm all ears. Listen, Samantha, I know you've been waiting for me to make a decision concerning us. But I'm afraid to let you know that it might not be what I want to give you. I cannot give you marriage now. I don't understand, Michael. I knew you wouldn't. Listen, Samantha, you're such a wonderful person, okay? But I'm sorry. I just can't get married to you now. But I want to be in our baby's life. I want to be in your life. I want to be there when he's feeling cold in the night and I have to cuddle him. I want to be there in the morning to bath him. I want to be there for him and I want to be there for you too. Oh, but Michael, I don't understand you. Are you saying I should come and live with you? Yes. This is what that's what I want, but I, I might sound selfish now, but that's the best I can do for now. So what happened after that? Listen, let's just take things slowly. Let's take things one step at a time. Because I don't want to block your chances if you want to move on later on in life, but please, let's just take them slow. Michael, look, I will accept to come and stay with you, not for anything else, but for the baby and because I love you. Look, I'm ready to face any condition as far as the both of us are together. And if you want my advice, 
I would say you should be really pregnant. Mm. So tell me, how is my girl doing? Well, I'm fine. Aside from the normal morning sickness, the baby and I are in top condition. And I am so glad to hear that. Because with the way you were fidgeting all over the place, Michael, Michael, I was so scared it was going to affect the baby somehow. But I can see that you are perfect. Oh, Eve, don't. Don't start, okay? I just said the baby and I are doing great, didn't I? Sam, you and I are not fighting. So you can as well keep your peace. Yeah, Mr. Waku, how's it doing? Has he decided it's time to start taking responsibilities of his child? Now, Eve, you listen to me, okay? Listen and listen. Good. I will not have you talk to my boyfriend like that, okay? I won't! He has a name. And his name is Michael. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Samantha, I do not care what name that Nikon put bears. He can as well kiss my beautiful ass whatever he has as a surname. All I care about is you and the baby. What name has he decided to call the baby? Well, if you must know, hmm? Michael has asked me to come and live with him. Samantha, you will do no such thing! Oh, watchman. God, what on earth is wrong with you? You are not his wife. And I could not particularly call you his girlfriend. Live with him as what? His concubine? Or maybe his long-term mistress? Not really. Okay, not really. Michael has been through so much, okay? He went through a lot in the hands of his former girlfriend. And that has made him a little bit, just a little bit afraid of commitment. Well, well thumbs up to you, Samantha. The new self-appointed Minister of Defense. So, Mr. Waku, is so afraid of commitment, yet so brave to make you the modifying offer of a leaving girlfriend. Sam, if you believe that I'm gonna swallow that, then you can as well believe anything. No, that's not it, okay? That's not. Michael wants to be close to his child. He wants to be there when the baby is born. And then he wants to share a little bit and the responsibility and you take whatever comes from there. And I hope you told him to take his silly, inconceivable and modifying offer and throw it down the trash can. What on earth is wrong with you? Because I don't even want to imagine that you could ever give a thought to such absurd offer. You don't understand. What on earth do you want me to understand? That the best thing that bastard could do you gave him a job, gave him brighter prospects in his miserable and godforsaken life, was to make you the modifying offer of a living girlfriend? Is that what you want me to understand? Sam, what on earth is wrong with you? I know. I know what he's offering is not much. But I love him. I do. Yes. If that's the only way I get to be with him, then I am ready to accept the little love. He's offering, okay? Just give him time. Give him time. Who knows? He may come to love me someday. Yes. Someday, you see? Someday. Or maybe he will end up throwing you out when the excitement of this battle is worse off. Girl, I don't want you to get heartbroken again. Because that hoity toity doesn't look to me like he would ever be ready to do the right thing. Oh, no, Eve. You don't know that. I know you love this guy, and I know you won't be with him. I'm not trying to be negative here. I'm only scared for you. 
I'm scared that that's, that Nick on poop will end up breaking your already bruised heart and set up. I know. Okay? I know. I am ready. Okay? Crossy. Look, I have resolved to take the chance, okay? If it doesn't work out at the end, I will know that I've tried. That I've tried, that I've tried everything I can to give it a shot, okay? Don't worry. I'll be fine. And I wish you all the luck in the world. <laughs> no, I'm your girl. I yeah. wish you all the luck. Thank you. Thank you. And I think I'm gonna need all the luck in the world. To Michael and Samantha. It's a nagging question deep inside my head. How could I believe this freaking voice I hear? Telling me my life is over, telling me to make me scared. Now I'm so scared. Oh. Fancy light, yes, I'm leaving it. Change my world and you're changing me. I'm that monster you're making me. No, I'm so bad, I wanna be bad. Yeah, it's the love I'm feeling. Where's the love in me saying? Why are you going to deny me? Good luck to my daughter. Are your parents? Um, actually, my dad has gone, but my mom is in. Okay. That's exactly who we want to see. Yes. Okay. Thank you. 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 This one you don't want to take anything. I hope there is no problem. Oh. There is no ah. problem. <laughs> uh, how are you and your family? We are fine, thank you. God has been faithful. I can see you are looking beautiful now, Radiant. <laughs> thank you. I must agree now that our brother's greatest undoing was you leaving him and then remarrying. What can I say, my dear? What happened was the way God wanted it. So... Uh, Christy, if I may ask, what about your son, the one you had for our brother Rufus? How is he doing? Michael? Yes. Michael is fine. He's doing well. He's all grown up. If you see Michael now, eh? Hmm. You will not recognize him. He doesn't even live with me anymore. He lives in his own place. And he's a manager in a big company. <laughs> um, but Eche, why do you ask? Um, Christy, you may not have heard. Our brother Rufus is dead and buried. said before, God's will must always prevail. It's okay. Uh, this is gone. Christy, mm. having told you mm. about our brother's death, I am sure you have already guessed why we are here. It is high time Michael knew about his father. It is time for him to come and claim what rightfully belongs to him. 
Because as it is now, our brother died without any other issue. Mom, I'm still waiting. <sighs> Michael, I'm sorry for not telling you all these years. Because I witnessed the attachments you have with my husband. Sir Rufus is your real father. What? I changed your surname to my husband's name because of the way he treated us when you were a baby. But his relatives came here the other day looking for you. And they told me about your father. My father nothing! That man is not my father. And I refuse to believe that. Because he's a devil! Please, Michael. Don't call him names. It is not good to speak ill of the dead. Besides, you don't know him well enough to condemn his character. You'll be surprised how much I know about that man you claim to be my father. So please don't stand here and sugarcoat his image. As far as I'm concerned, he was a wicked and heartless man. No, Michael. You speak with so much hatred in your hearts. Did something happen that I don't know of? Did you come in contact with Sir Rufus while he was still alive? The issue is not whether or not he's dead or alive. The issue is he's not my father. Please, Michael. Reverse that decision. For my sake, please reverse it. He sent us out of his house with nothing. But now that he's dead, you must claim what rightfully belongs to you. Don't you get it? I don't need his money. As far as I'm concerned, he rejected me when I was a kid and I'm rejecting him now whether he's dead or alive. And he can rot in hell for all I care. No, Michael, no! Michael, no! Please! Please come back! Michael! Sorry, how may I help you? Um, I'm, I'm Angela, my girl sister. These are, these are his relatives. Okay, to see me. Hope he's around. Oh, yes! Why don't you come inside and get comfortable, please? Thank you. Please sit down. Thank you, Yes, I'm gonna call you, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. How may I help you? Uh, my son, we are your relatives. I'm Eche, your uncle, and she is Francisca, your aunt. We are your biological father's siblings. Excuse me. As far as I'm concerned, I only have one father, which is Chief Ifedeba. Mm. And that is the one I share with my sister here. And I know he doesn't have any siblings. Do you understand me? Mm. Michael, we know you have the right to be angry and upset the way our brother Rufus abandoned you and your mother for all these years. Eh? Our brother is dead now. Eh? You need to forgive him. Michael, please, you need to forgive him. Excuse me, what is your name? Francisca. Right. Madam Francisca. Mm. I hate to admit the fact that that man is my father. Wait. How can me, my sister and my mother have the same surname if he is my father? Tell me, how come that brute hey. couldn't have been my father? Oh. 
And with that said, I'd like you all to leave my house immediately. Please, my son. Rufus! So you, have to, you have to listen to me. Or, I'm afraid. Oh, Michael. The, the Please. Eh? Your You're my last hope. Michael. Please. Eh? Don't leave us. Hey. Hey. Hey, Jesse. Me that the late Sir Rufus happens to be my stepfather, which makes Rose. Rose, my stepmother. Ah. It's bizarre. My God, Michael. It can't be true. No. This, this whole thing must be a poor joke played by God or something. Well, if it's a joke, then I'm sure God is laughing his head off. Because I'm more pissed than amused. You said um, the people that came to pay you a visit, your relatives, that they want you to come back and assume the position of the dead man's heir? Yes. That is true. I guess you know what this means. Which is confronting rules. Have you thought of that? Have I thought of that? Have I thought of that? The mere fact of confronting rules. And claiming what is mine just fills me with anticipation. I just can't wait to see her face when I finally confront her and take what is rightfully mine. <sighs> She's gonna pay for this. <sighs> Careful, Michael. Because it appears to me that you're riding on far too much hatred here. You know, you, you, you used to love this girl before. I know this thing they say about there being a thin line between love and hate. Listen to me very carefully. Where me and Rose are involved, there can be nothing more than hatred. And more hatred. Nothing less. Well, uh, Michael, I still think you should be very careful. Don't get burned a second time. Never, my friend. Never! Well, uh, Michael, I better take my leave. I, I think we'll see some other time. I told you guys never to duck in my territory with your shadows again. Young lady, I hope you are not expecting that we will just go away like that when our brother's estate is at the risk of being squandered by a bloody gold digger. <laughs> you amaze me, you fool. Did you rather I gave my husband's wealth, documents, estates to the both of you so you can squandle it? I've always known that the both of you were nothing but vultures who have come to steal my money and reap from where you did not sow. Look who is calling us vultures. This gold digger, this prostitute. What was your intention when you came to marry our brother Rufus? A man ought not to be your father, if not to lay your dirty hands on his word. Oh, shut up your dirty mouth. I only wish you saw your brother crave and want this body. You think I would want to go after a man as old as your brother? And by the way, what am I even standing here listening to the jackers that come out from your mouth? Please, get so this filth out of my mouth. Get out of your mouth! Get out of your mouth! Get out of your mouth! Just that you feel the feet in my presence. This is my house. It is my house much more than it is yours. And I have the power to decide who stays and who leaves. Yes, one! What? Is, is this? He is the heir. Yes. We've told you we'll be back. Yes, we've been Michael here. 
is our late brother's only child <laughs> from his first wife. No, never. It can never be. My husband died childless. He did not have any child, even if he married the first wife. He did not. I would not fall for your cheap little tricks. I will do that. Rose, 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 Rose. It's a pity you know little about the man you agreed to marry. What, did you let his money blind you that you couldn't even see straight? You know, I always thought you were a very smart young woman. But you're daft. Ah, oh, really? But that, doesn't just that make the two of us? You were also as daft as you think I am. You know, I thought you were many things. But I've just come to accept the fact that you're just a total loser. You know what? Let me just make it easier for all of us. I abhor every minute spent in this godforsaken house. Well, that is beautiful. I can have my man here, Reza, show you out of my gate. <laughs> Not so fast, Rose. I'm here to collect every single document to all the properties you possess and to make sure my father's properties are dispersed accordingly and to collect what lawfully belongs to me Michael Michael I'm sorry but you would only achieve that if you go through me Believe me Rose I'm ever ready to do that. <laughs> My girl, I am worse than your father. I'm not the bush he used to know. So don't you dare provoke me. Don't you push me. Don't. Boys, throw them out. <laughs> Felicia, I thought I'd give you a strict instruction that I did not want to be stopped. Especially by this. I'm so, sorry, madam. I, I tried stopping him. But nothing. Now you would go downstairs to the accountant and take what's left of your salary and get the hell out of my property. I would not condole incompetence. Get out. Madam. I said get out. I'm, I'm, Shut up! That was totally unnecessary, Rose. So have you come here to comment on how I run my business? <laughs> well, if this is how you run your business, then I'm sorry. It leaves it much to be desired because you're just running it down to bankruptcy. As you can see, I'm very busy. So if you would just stay to what you came here for and get the hell out, I'll be in peace. Now, I went to see my father's lawyers concerning his estates and I was surprised to find out that you were changing the title deeds to his properties into your name. Exactly. And since the lawyers explained everything to you perfectly well, why are you here? Well, because it doesn't wash down with me. I am going to fight you in the law courts for you to return every little thing you stole from my father. Just take a good look at yourself, my girl. Who would know that you of all people would stoop so low to call a man who never gave you a day or time when he was alive. A man who asked his talks to beat you to a pulp. Almost to death, your father. Cheers. Money is good. Oh, money is good. That is why you contrived to marry a man thrice your age, Rose. Rose, don't you know I know that you killed him because of your money? Didn't you kill him because of the money? Oh, I don't know. You think I don't know, Rose? Huh? How dare you? Don't you dare do this again. Do you understand me? No, I didn't come here because of the money. Do you understand me? 
the very first day I learned the identity of my father. It's obvious he knows too much. Yes. Michael knows too much. And it's all my fault. I totally blame it on myself. If I wasn't so weak, I wouldn't have run to him that night. I was... I was so stupidly weak and I gave away myself. <sighs> There is no need crying over spilled milk. The deed has already been done. All you need to think of now is a way to save the situation. Tell me, Auntie Maria. What other way is there to save the situation apart from the obvious? You hesitate. Do you still have feelings for that man? Oh, no. No, never. Every feelings I had for Michael died the night I met him with another woman. I, I hesitate because I've never done this before. And it's such a pity that I have to start with an ex-lover of mine.
devil, incarnate father, did this to me. He brought me. He paid for me. He turned me to a similar beast that he is. And believe me, I spent all my days enjoying every single piece of his legacy. Rose! Rose! Fuck you! Don't you stand there and feel sorry for me or pity because I don't need any of that from you. Just get out! Get out! I don't even know what to say, Rose. I don't even know what to say. Why are you doing this? Why? Just shut the fuck up. Just shut your trap, okay? You stand as though you feel sorry for me. I don't need your sorry. Okay, I don't need anything from you. Just get out. I disgust you. Just get out of my house. Get out of my house. You've never disgusted me. I want you to leave. Rose! Michael, it would not work. It can never work. What happened today is just a mistake. And I really wish it never happened. You wish it never happened? Did your late husband teach you to mess around with people's feelings and just dump them? You have no right talking about me like that. I have every right to talk to you like this. You know why? Because you burned down my salon number one and then you attempted to take my life. <laughs> you owe me big time, girl. You owe me. Because I can report you to the authorities and you'll be locked up for the rest of your life where you cannot even butt an eyelid. Why don't you just go ahead and do that? My girl. Go on ahead and hand me over to the authorities. Clear your system. Do it. Hurt me back. I know you've always wanted to do that. But you know what? I have absolutely nothing to lose. Listen, Rose. We can work. We can make this thing work again. Work it out, Michael. I came to you and twice you rejected me. You hurt me. And now you want to make it work? I don't remember doing it. <laughs> then you must have a very tiny memory. First, on the day of my wedding, I gave Tina a note to give you which said that you should come and rescue me. I waited. My girl, I did wait. And when I did not see you, I escaped. I came looking for you because I love you. And what did I say? The love of my life lying peacefully in the arms of another woman. Exhausted. Obviously from making love and the other time. I guess you still remember, don't you? You know what? My God, just forget about this. This would never ever work. It cannot work. It is pointless. No matter what you say, no matter what you do, it can never mend my heart. You can never heal the pains that you scarred in my heart. My life is, is a useless one. It's a foolish one. And it can never match with yours. Besides, you have someone else now. Plus an unborn baby. So why don't you just go back to them? Go back to them and make a happy home. Go back to them and love them. And leave my perfect
story up on myself yeah. A maniac breeding but she's stone cold It's a terrible little woman, yes you're thinking Cause she's bound in chains, I'm bound in chains Oh, someone says it's not my doing Another one says I must be joking would you do if you were in my shoes? Take the pain and live in shame. Reach out your hands and find me. No, don't look back. Don't go deep in my. Michael, you must be out of your mind. No, I am not, Bob. I am not. I just realized I've been fighting a lose battle all along. How can I turn my back on a woman I love because I still have feelings for her? I cannot fight those feelings. What are I trying to say, Michael? Is this not the same rose that left you for a wealthy old man? The same rose who constantly burns down your salmon? Are you thinking straight at, at, at all? Bob, you do not know rose. You don't. Her marriage turned her into a beast. And, and, and she kind of took a turn for the worst. Hey, 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 hey. That's no news to me, Michael. Remember, I was there to experience exactly how she's changed. I was there. I saw everything. No, that's not what I'm saying. Listen, I cannot turn my back on her. I just can't. Do you understand me? I just can't turn my back on Rose because if anything bad happens to her, I'll feel hurt inside. It's just not possible. Really? Um, now, tell me, what happened to Samantha and the baby? You seem to be forgetting that they need you. Let me tell you something, Bob. Samantha has done so much for me, yes, but I don't love her. I might sound selfish, but I just cannot turn my back on Rose because I love Rose. Good damn you, Michael. Well, well, I, I, I just hope you know exactly where you get yourself into here. holding on to you because of our baby will never work. It will never work. Maybe, just maybe someday, I will find a man who will love me the way I should be loved. Just the way you obviously love Rose. Well, I wish you find him soon.
Michael, what is the meaning of this nonsense? Get that car out of my way immediately. You and I have got some talking to do and I'm not going anywhere till we are through. Look, Michael, both of us have nothing whatsoever to talk about. If it's about your father's property, this is it. You can have it. I've already told the lawyers to revert all the legal documents into your name. So what do you want from me? And why would you do that? I don't need all these things. They are not important to me. You have the right to his properties because you are the wife, Rose. No, not really. I'm not. You see, your father never really got married to me. He faked a marriage certificate. He said faked a, a marriage ceremony. So I am not his wife. And now, Michael, since you know the truth, why don't you just leave me alone? So, Rana, where are you going? Tell me. I'm going anywhere. I just, I just want to go anywhere, anywhere. I would not be constantly reminded of how my life has turned into one big failure. Anywhere. That's where I'm going to. Just leave me alone, okay? Then let me go with you, baby. Let me go with you. Let's let's forget about everything and start everything again. All over. Because I love you. Oh, my God. You do not know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. What about Samantha? What about your unborn child? Look, my God. I have told you. It would never work. Just leave me alone. My life is not with, with, with Samantha. Listen, give me the chance to love again. Give me the chance to make this thing work again because we are in love. Do you understand me? I still love you. Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Just, just let me be, Michael. Just let me be. Michael, I am scared. I am scared. I'm scared of the things that I'm, I'm capable of doing these days. My life is not one anybody wishes to share. So, Michael, please. Just leave me alone. Just go back to Samantha. She loves you. She needs you. Just, just go back to her. Go back to her. Rose, listen, I can't. It's you I want to share my life with. If you feel what you still felt for me, then we can make it work again, baby. Please. Please, let's make it work. I still love you. Of course, my God. I love you too. I love you. I love you with everything in me. I love you with my soul. I love you with my heart. But it's not possible. Rose, everything is possible if we put our mind to it because we're still in love. Cause she's bound in chains, I'm bound in chains Oh, someone says it's not my new way Another one says I must be joking What would you do if you were in my shoes? Take the pain and live in shame 